Hello, Nikola and Tom. Okay. Uh, quite a few minutes from starting. Right, good afternoon all. Um, I've just shared the meeting notes link. Um, so, share screen. Okay. 
hopefully you can all see. Um, so, yeah, first item to note is that um, the events on the 17th, the calls on the 17th and the 24th will be cancelled um, because of KubeCon and recovering from that. Um, also worth noting that uh, for those of us who have a clock change, uh, savings time change next week, um, the call will be moving back an hour to its um, kind of more usual uh, time. Um, <clears throat> I think probably we, we've we've spent a lot of time in the last couple of weeks going through the events. Um, the one that I think is worth spending a bit of time on is the informal birds of a feather session. So there is a an issue in GitHub that was raised. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's also a discussions forum, um, and there's also a form which people can fill out if they are uh, interested in attending um, and whether they've got a, you know, an item for discussion or not. Um, I haven't seen the latest numbers, but I understand there's a few people that have signed up, which is nice. Um, I don't know if, um, if Taylor or Lucina, you've got uh, an up-to-date view of how many people have signed up for the informal session. Good morning. Yeah, it looks oh, yeah. like 12 people have responded so far. Okay. So feel free to share the form with yeah. your community, especially those who will be attending in person. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, so I don't know whether, whether either you or Taylor want to add any more about whether you, there's any further input you want to help organise that, or it's just a case of sharing the form and the details of it. Um, I, I didn't understand the question other than the form, the organising part, what was that? So is there anything else you think we need to run through today on this call in terms of shaping it, organising it, or anything else, or...? Is it just a case of us sharing the form within our communities? Well, I do think we should organize it. I don't know if organize it some more. I don't know if that needs to happen on this call. The two things I was um, thinking were making sure that if we're going to have something like a birds of a feather that we have that um we can start putting together like what is the any topics or whatever i mean no, normally what my experience with birds of feather is people can come up to like a whiteboard and just write and here's what i want to do talk about for five minutes or two minutes or whatever short mm -hmm. short talks but if we have material together that people say they want to talk and we can start putting it then that'll i think get other people ready so what do we want to do for anything like that? And then the other part is the working session. If we're going to have things that we actually want to try to actively work together on um, while we're there, then having one or a few, you know, two or three, I probably wouldn't choose too many, but things that we'd like to work on and, and maybe have that together. Like for instance, the best practices, I don't I don't think we should say any best practice, every best practice, but if we say, here's a few that we're interested in, um, we can always adjust these things when we're there if there's an overwhelming motivation to do something. But if we have some content ready, whether that's one of the ones that have already been put forward or something else, then if we have content that's, you know, 20% or 50% done, it's better than zero in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want to work on the glossary terms, then 
picking, you know, a couple of terms that we are interested in and starting that so that there's actually some content. People are, in my mind, more likely to contribute if, if there's something there and it gives them an idea. So I would say organizing the working session and the um, birds of a feather would probably be it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I think that makes sense. I, I agree. If if we've got a couple of open pull requests, um, or um, or Google Docs or whatever, you know, however we want to structure the the work that that's been started, because I, I agree, people will find it easier to get up to speed with ideas and, and so on. Um, so, I mean, you mentioned the, the you mentioned the glossary. Um, there's a couple of couple of issues we've got open already relating to that. <clears throat> um, I mean, we could we could just create um, either a Google Docs or a discussion item in GitHub that starts to collect the glossary items that we want to define. I know there's some discussions already, but to kind of collate them or, or do it in this issue. As far as today or just work before uh, we get there is promotion and just a general um, preparation. We have the, for the, gathering so mm -hmm. we have the form um i've we have the our planning doc ourself um which is more for internal google doc um in mm -hmm. fact if is, is this uh your screen tom yes okay can you bring up that document might be easier to just look at what we've done and what's left Uh, do you mean the Etherpad or the Google Docs one? The Google Doc, um, the planning for the gathering. Uh, this one. Yeah. Probably should just name this planning as Doc, but um, the, yeah, so there's all that section there. Uh, okay. um, the rest was uh, content to let us know what we're doing, draft content, I guess. So we've, we have the forum um, we've shared with some places. So if there's more places we'd like to share uh, what's not on here, but we should probably add. Lucina, I think you were, you've already started some stuff for Twitter and we're planning on continuing that. Marketing it, David. Yes, I can continue promoting the gathering when I promote Telco Day. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. So then GitHub, we have a discussion forum. Can you click on some of those and bring them up, um, Tom? It should be clickable even though it's direct. Oh, look at that. So that, you know, some of this duplicate is just kind of where anybody could stumble across us, number one, and number two, uh, potential areas for, you know, talking. So if someone wanted, and I'm not seeing anything here, do you see any responses? So no responses, but, no. Um, you know, we could have people do discussions here. If wanted, we have a, uh, the issue for this. So there's an issue for the event. Has anyone added anything else on the issue? No. No. Um, and Nikolai, if you had um, some 
some interest in doing something specific in the event or if you think some colleagues might be we could uh, get them okay go ahead yeah, yeah, yeah i was just confirming yeah so so on on, on that point um thomas graff has already signed up by the form Oh, okay. Um, but based on a disc like one of one of the I surveillance colleagues, Joshua, uh, someone I don't know his name, um, introduced me to him and uh, Liz Rice and suggested they come along if they can. Sure. Okay. So um, I don't know where we all where we'd like to put everything. I was trying to provide some different places. Um, until we decided and not, you know, hold off until it's a week till, but whether, I think whether, um, uh, of course the form helps us gather some of it in one place, but then publicizing. So we can add stuff into this issue or put it in that discussion as we're going forward. I think we could we need somewhere that's like a, here's the public agenda document. So, you know, that can be, um, there's there's many choices there. Uh, the other place where it's published is in GitHub under, there's a new events folder. Uh, is that on there? Maybe that's not, uh, that didn't get added to the Google doc list. Um. I guess it didn't no, probably it didn't like it. put it in oh, there. Yeah, 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 it did. Here is it. Oh, okay. Okay, so this events folder is new. Um, you know, right now there's no, here's a SANCF all telecom top level. I guess it, well, it's just CNCF. There's not like a CNCF telco. And at one point we put some stuff under the telecom user group. And, and it kind of seems like the CNF working group is that place. There's, there's nothing at a top level though. So uh, beyond this, so figured for now, putting events that are related to the working group and um, you know maybe the certification test suite even telco days mentioned here but we could always put stuff here but in any case um, this is it for the community gathering and we mm -hmm. could use this as here is the this actually is the document that we do prs to to add the agenda so of course having the location designated somewhere or everywhere is going to be good but uh, as we put together stuff we could publish it here and then point people like what is the easiest to market so if lucina is going to be saying hey here go here uh, come to the event the form right now is great come sign up if you want to go but where do we tell people to go read for updates um, we're not going to be updating the form over and over. So where do we tell them? So this can be it if we want. Um, for the actual event live when we're there, we can, of course, do work in individual places where we have stuff like the, the glossary. Um, right now, it's just an issue, I think. But some of the best practices actually have Google Docs. So well, we can just work on the drafts for those. But in addition, we have, you know, how do we do live notes or shared notes or whatever? We do have a draft etherpad. We haven't shared it yet because I think that those are just public and I'm kind of afraid that we may end up seeing like a bunch of spam in it if we just post it, a link to it. Um, but this kind of gives an idea of what I was thinking and I don't know, Tom and Nikolai and Lucina, anybody, Akash, if y'all have some thoughts on this, then we can adjust. But this is kind of how I was saying 
the agenda and how we're going forward potentially. And um, I, this is totally just more of a draft right now, but if we have the birds of a feather topics and, and then working session, then, you know, we can add stuff in here, share this and then put more. But do y'all have some feedback or thoughts on, on what we could do? Um, I think in terms of this, the agenda, I, I like the idea of <clears throat> having the the kind of the quick lightning talks to start with and then a working session. And, and as we said earlier, to bring some already started um, work to the working session. Um, in, in terms of capturing what's happening on the day, I think Ethan adds as good as anything else to use. Um, it, you know, it, it makes it easy to capture what's going on. And I agree that having a single place that we can point people to, like the GitHub article, um, is, a, is an easier way of, you know, making sure everyone's got the right information. Can you lock these? Well, the etherpads. Um, probably. All right. Not sure. I mean, I don't really care before, but if we link this from other places like the events github document so that people can see here's here's all the content that we talked about and, all, and the live or the uh -huh. uh, notes and all that it'd be nice uh just so, if so it, it looks ends, like a read only like, awesome yeah it looks like you can create a read only with a specific url that's read only rather than the the link for the document. Okay. Did it randomize it? Looks like it. I mean, it, it's the same result every time, so it's probably some some hash. But All you'd, right. have to, you'd have to really care about getting into that <laughs> work out. Yeah. Um, well, um, maybe we we post the random one, the uh, the read only. We could put that right into the different places that we want to share mm -hmm. yeah and it's going to happen now and then anyone that's saying they're interested we can give them access sooner and then share it directly whenever we're there at the event yeah sounds sensible i did i didn't know where to put the cilium abf for delco workloads was so I just put it like a topic discussion at the top, mm -hmm. but it could be a five minute thing. If that's what we're talking about. I was leaving it, the idea of an open longer discussion. So the fight, the birds of a feather, hopefully we can just keep those short and not let, you know, one of them turn into 20 minutes or an hour from five minutes on the on the um, other hand it would be okay i think to have here's a a larger longer discussion you know it's kind of yeah. thing the, the multi-network um day were you there mm -hmm. at that time? um i don't remember it don't was a so. on and ended up talking about the potential adding a new kubernetes object that had the information about declaring dip, you know multiple interfaces not as a i think it would be like a super um set or a of what multis so compatible with multis and other things but yeah. more generic <clears throat> the whole multi-network group Mm -hmm. So they had kind of 
they had some specific agenda items that they wanted to work through and questions and stuff put forward, but they also had kind of open discussions around use cases and other things that were important. And I think, so they didn't have a birds of feather, but they had kind of working, working session time and open to topic discussion, so. Okay. I think leaving some time for that so that if we you know, want to dig into something or someone has a, a use case and they want to talk about a problem space and practices or whatever, what yeah. technology is coming forward and we want to explore how it fits. But what were you thinking or whoever put it forward for this? this flexibility of CNI plugins? Um, so that was the discussion I've been having with um, with our surveillance. Um, so obviously, well, certainly we buy our Kubernetes platform from a vendor. Um, and whilst CNI plugins are using a standardized CNI, there is a, there is a series of kind of validation and certification steps that we would want to go through before introducing a CNI that isn't kind of bundled with the product into the stack. Um, Cause it's another, it's another thing that the CNF vendor has to check, you know, that their application works with. So it's, it's more about just a, I don't think I've really got an opening statement. Um, I, you know, maybe, maybe I need to have a little chat with, uh, the US surveillance team that I've been talking to and see who's going to come and kind of how they want to frame the discussion because I, I, I more suggested it on their behalf rather, rather than my behalf. I think in terms of the ordering, I, I wonder whether the shorter kind of lightning talks should go before the longer discussion set, uh, items um, just so we don't kind of potentially run out of time for them to happen. All right, I agree. Can you just move that down and maybe we rename it to call it uh, open discussion ideas or some some other name? Okay. Can you get that read only late link and then add it to the to do list in our planning document? And we'll post it to different places, wherever is appropriate. Yeah. Sounds good. What else do we want to do? Um, I can't really think of much else. Um, am I, in terms of the logistics of location, um, is that being dealt with or is that something to deal with still? So 
still needs to happen. And Lucina's looked at some alternative options like co-working spaces. There's bowling, <laughs> a bowling yeah. place, other other ideas. So if if it turned out that we don't want to be at the RAI, mm -hmm. that nothing's set yet. So okay. And is it like do, do you or Lucina? Do you need help or or anyone to sort of assist with getting that sorted or? Go back to the Google, Google Doc. Yeah. There's a section just for the logistics. It's this bit. Or is it a checkbox section? I think it was that. Yeah, the ideas for where to go. Lucina, do you have any feedback? Oh, I know that all of the co-located events for KubeCon will be held on Tuesday, the 18th. And some of them are half day, morning, half day, afternoon, some are full day. I think if we wanted to try to find a space at RAI, the conference center, we could do it on the fly or we could ask the events team if they have a meeting room available I, I know they are booked and busy up until KubeCon so that they may or may not be able to help us uh, get a an official room at RAI, RAI. Um, in the past there's been talk about you could use the lunch room or informal meetings and then of course there's the hallway I've only been to that conference for one time, so I can't recall the exact layout to say meet us in the office corner or where would be the best meeting spot. Um, yes, across the street is a co-working space slash coffee shop, talkie talkie. I haven't emailed them yet um, to see what their meeting room capacity is. Right now we have 12 responses of folks who are interested in attending. So that group, the group of that size should be easy to accommodate for. There's also a, we, a WeWork, but that's a little bit longer of a walk away. And there's a hotel and and how Amsterdam Hotel. There's no vacancy for rooms at this time as it was a, an official Yukon venue block, but we may be able to use the conference room if it's not already booked at that time. And then, the bowling alley is a six minute walk. I know there is going to be a Kubecon, um, the Big Lebowski inspired bowling party hosted by Armo at that, bowling, at that bowling alley later on in the week. So they may already have similar requests for, for meetings. My thought too would be ask the CNCF events team if they, <laughs> have time to help uh, accommodate that, which uh, they may not. And then the Taki Taki, which is uh, across the street. If we have a small group under 25, then that seems like a good option. we have a target of attendees we're trying to meet or would we be okay with a smaller group of 15 to 20 um i think it'd be nice to get more but i still think it'd be worthwhile meeting with with that sort of number It's hard to know whether people are going to, you know, respond to the form later on or not respond to the form and turn up anyway, etc. Um, not really sure how his, what history tells us 
is likely to I expect that there will be some number that show up without ever communicating. And if it's more than the group that shows up to these calls, then I think we should do it. If we have the opportunity to talk to anyone new, good. And if we make progress in the working session, also good. So, yep. Okay. As long as we have it a space that's known and easy enough to get to, then we may have people that, for whatever reason, didn't know about it that are at Telco Day and go, Yeah, I want to go to that and show up. We may double whatever the number is. Um, I would like to get general um, marketing into just the KubeCon folks. I mean, uh, as well as maybe some targeted to some CNCF projects. So if there's any that are inter interested, um, Nicola, I don't, you know, I don't know if this would be a good place for NSM to come and talk. We had had some talking to Ed and stuff in the past. The thought of having a working session with like some best practices and some use cases that were interested in the past, but nothing has really happened for a while. So maybe they'd be good. And then if there's any other projects like, hey, we shouldn't, we've had a lot of work from Litmus, but is there another CNCF project? For the five minutes birds of a feather for a working session where we're writing about use cases and putting content in, I mean, I feel like there's this should be a, here's a time where we're really trying to encourage and move forward on collaboration between different parties. Okay. Have you been working in the, um, with the NSM folks, Nikolai? Uh, no, not, not recently. No. All right. Well, I can reach out to some people. Any ideas for like, here's a CNCF project that we should really have, we should really be talking to. Mm -hmm. Tom, do you, do you, is Vodafone talking, using any CNCF projects or? Caring about any interested that we should try to get to come chat with us? Um, the only ones I'm aware of are um, Silver. Um, in terms of things we interact with directly, obviously we use Kubernetes and, and all that, but not not directly. Um, Silver and Camera. Um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. That would fit. Camera could be a good one to to reach out to because that's telco API stuff. So there was a GSMA announcement at Mobile World Congress about some API initiative, um, which is being de delivered by the Camera project within CNCF. So that could be relevant. All right. I think that that's been brought up on 
some prior calls as far as what what are the different projects and how are, is anyone working together? Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone working on that, Tom, that we could invite? Um, so I know, uh, I mean, I've, I've worked with Peter before and Nathan. Um, I know there are some other Vodafone people. I know who they are, although I doubt any of them are going to Amsterdam, however. Right, that'd be the other part. Yeah, there's a bunch of people there, but I don't think any of them will be going. I can reach out to, uh, to Peter and, and maybe we, we email the mailing list or something. I'll, I'll reach out to Peter and Nathan first. All right. They can share it within the community if they think it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay, that sounds like there are some plans. Um, let's see how we get on for next week's meeting. Is there anything else anyone wants to talk about today? Are any of the best practices something that we want to try to publish before the event and any of them of interest? If you just look at the probably the GitHub issues that we could work on before then. Um, well, so so I think the glossary one is is I know it's not a best practice, but that could be a good one. Um, I had started um, on one of them within Google Docs. I don't remember which one it was. I think it might have been yeah, this one. Oh, okay. So we could, I could, you know, flesh this out a little bit more and then, you know, have that as a starting point, perhaps. And, and I think you had started one as well, perhaps. I, I tried to add one for every issue. So like the readiness was the one that you put in there, um, right below. Mm -hmm. And of course we have the related okay. lines. So I have a yep. document for each of those. They're related, but. Mm -hmm. It was suggested to keep them separate. Yep. Um, it, go ahead and click on that. Any of either of them doesn't matter. So I, I think Victor had started it this way in a different document. So I've just been cloning them and starting, but it's just the markdown copied in mm -hmm. and then fill in the sections. And of course, you got to do a little bit of clean up when you copy it back but yeah. it, you're basically doing that those sections um and if you scroll down so that any in black is kind of the ready the red is here this is just copied over we need to change it so these have no motivation but it looks like the the static external um <clears throat> resources that you had was pretty close Seemed like it had a lot of the content. Uh, no, similarly, so so oh, okay. the, code, the code in this document was italics was copied from somewhere else, and okay, okay, okay. non non italics was ready. All right. <clears throat> well, I mean, so that part is not done, but I think the references and readiness, unless it was aliveness, if you scroll down. Okay, so there's a proposal. Kind of started the proposal. That's mm -hmm. it. It's minimal. 
um, notes, added some more notes. Yeah. That's it. What was that? I wonder why we put that. Someone must have <clears throat> thought that was related, it's though. Good. Yeah, it's not red. So um, there was something said about the development side. And I think it might be in the liveness, but Victor was talking about the different attributes that you can use for these checks like aliveness and readiness where the how often you check and other things and that's probably something that we need to ensure it's on both of them <clears throat> increased yeah. cpu usage as a result of yeah this is this is it so that seems like it's related need to check which ones are actually the same in, in them but we're going to have some related content there. I think the quote from that cloud native document is probably a good reference also. And just keeping these yeah. are both of them. Agreed. OK, um, so perhaps uh, so hang on. So we've got a meeting next week. Um, and then there's a meeting the week after. Um, just thinking about when we should make a decision about which, because obviously these will get worked on over the next couple of weeks. We, should, we could then make a decision about which ones we take to the working session based on you know, which has got furthest or which has more to go. Um, but that's just got me thinking that actually April the 10th, I don't know what it's like in the US, but that's Easter Monday, um, and that's a public holiday in the UK. So I won't be around. I don't know whether anyone else will be. All right, April the 10th. I don't know if there's a public holiday elsewhere or not. Um, but either way, that means that my my last meeting that I'll be attending before KubeCon is next week. Um, so, you know, either next week or the week after, perhaps we make a decision about which of those Google Docs we take for the working session. Based on how much work has been done in them. Does that sound sensible? It, I, it looks like it's just a holiday. That's just a, I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at one of those calendar places. Easter Monday, worldwide. So we could, do we want to just say um, not we'll cancel the town? So so it's it's a it's a public holiday in the UK, Germany, Ireland, Italy, and Spain. Um, I have that in my outlook already. So I suspect some other European countries as well. Yeah. Um, Let's just go ahead and put um canceling April 10th, call it Easter Monday or whatever. Okay. All right. OK. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. I'll speak to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.